Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World. And for today's vlog, I am going to be doing a segment on breast cancer awareness in honor of it being October, the month of breast cancer awareness. I got my pink on, as you can see. I'm just a little eyeshadow for some pink, you guys. Um, what else? So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Well, I guess I'll give you a little outline. I'll give you some facts. Um, I guess I'll give you my opinions as well as uh, we'll do a moment of silence for those who lost their battle to breast cancer. Uh, and then I'll come back in and give you guys some more news of what's getting going on in Difference World, yeah? All right, so let's get started. So uh, today, uh, again, for this segment, it's going to be dedicated to those uh, who are going through breast cancer, uh, battling it, and have survived it as well as, you know, lost their battle to it. So we're going to title this segment, Mamas and Her Tatas. Um, <laughs> I think that'll be a good title for it. And so... Uh, giving you guys some facts, you know, with Third Eye, we try to bring social awareness into society, in which we try to motivate, educate, and inspire all at once, and keep you guys entertained while doing so. And so we want to get you guys some facts as well, um, so to keep you, you know, educated. So here's what I found, uh, according to CDC.com, uh, excuse me, .gov, you, every year, excuse me, around this year alone, 43,600 people who will be diagnosed with breast cancer will die from it. One out of every 10, a lot of people don't believe this or, can, or don't think that men can get breast cancer, but what I actually found is that one out of every 100 diagnosed case, men are included for that. I also found that black women are among the highest risk at receiving, uh, getting breast cancer. So all of my black queens out there, please listen and hear me. Uh, if you're of age and it's time for you to get the uh, mamas and tatas in check, go get the girls uh, their checkups because we want to make sure that if in case if you are uh, susceptible to breast cancer, you want to catch that in time. So definitely go and get a mammogram for women who are ages 40 and up. Um, that's the times that they start doing mammograms. I actually called to try to get one, um, but they said I was too young. But I still think, in my opinion, for those out there who feel like they want to get the mammogram, they should be able to get it done no matter what the age is. And so I think, you know, they should lower the age <laughs> for women to do the mammogram, you know, especially if you want to try to catch it early on. You want to catch it and do checkups as early as possible. And so, yeah, lower the age for mammogram checkups, dude. <laughs> um, next, we want to... Um, Give you guys that information um, but also let's do a little silent a moment of silence for those who've lost their battle to breast cancer and that are no longer here with us and so if you're watching this you know bow your heads we'll do a moment of silence for them back so if you're just tuning in we just did the moment of silence for those who have lost their battle to breast cancer um, although they are no longer here with us please know that they will always be in our hearts and never forgotten I also want to take this time to give a big shout out to those who are breast cancer survivors or those who may be going through uh, their battles right now you know dealing with chemotherapy and all give a quick shout out to you guys up and much respect and love for you all um, I've never myself have dealt with cancer, but I've had family members that have lost their battle to cancer. So I, I understand on the family member side of it, but as opposed to having cancer, I've never gone through it. And God, I forbid that I ever have to. Um, so so my, whenever I come across somebody who has battled you know, with cancer, automatically you guys have my respect. Um, I always tell myself this is a mantra that gets me, that keeps me humble is that there's always somebody out there that has it 10 times worse than me. And so when I come across a person who has an illness, not just with cancer, but with any type of illness that I never had to deal with, it humbles me. And so um, hats off to you guys. Keep kicking cancer's ass and fighting the good fight to the end, no matter what. I am with you guys in spirit. You guys are always in my thoughts and prayers. So together with all the you know, technology that we've been coming up with, I have faith that you know we're, we're gonna end, we're gonna end cancer one day, one day it's gonna come for us. 
And so we just have to keep fighting the good fight, all of us. Um, and so with that being said, I want to close out our segment on mamas and the tatas by reminding all of the ladies, the queens of the world, even the men, uh, it's possible for men to get breast cancer too. Don't think you can't because you can. Um, go and get the, mem the, the mamas and the tatas, get the tatas checked up. Uh, if it's time for you, um, be mindful of that. And, and, and um, for those who, you know, you know of anybody that needs information, you know, check your local listing and do your research online and find out the resources that are available for you guys. Uh, what else? Um, thank you guys for watching my segment, um, Breast Cancer Awareness, Mamas and the Tatas. Uh, also, what's going on in Difference World, uh, recently we just did uh, two book fairs that we attended, the National Black Book Festival and the Arthur Push Showcase. So big shout out to those uh, venues for having us on their uh, showcase and allowing us to uh, promote my new book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift, which is on sale now at my website, differenceworld.net. It is available on paperback and ebook on Amazon.com, but if you go to Amazon, it is more expensive. So go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get the better price. Please also be advised that this book does come with a disclaimer. It's intended for a mature audience only. So uh, with that being said, if you can't take that type of heat, then don't bother coming to this kitchen. Um, and with that being said, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you want or that you feel that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace, everybody. What if? What if in 1619, Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America? Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift by Author Different. Illustrations by Anastasia Arnold. Coming August 2021. Go to differenceworld.net.